Back to Fox Top Story. The Republican-led House Intelligence Committee releasing its now declassified memo about the Russia investigation, which claims federal investigators abused their powers. FBI officials say the memo is not accurate because it's missing key pieces of information. Context matters. The Democrats are echoing that, calling the memo misleading at very least. Let's bring in the Fox News Sunday anchor, Chris Wallace. Chris, great to see you. Good to be with you, Shop. I was watching as this first came out. We were hearing your initial assessments. I thought they were very interesting. Please share them. Gosh, I'm going to have to repeat what I said or no, remember what I said. You just do you, man. It'll be perfect. Uh, well, no. I Look, there are some things about this memo that are very troubling. Um, that it, it reveals that there was extensive use of the dossier to try to get the Carter Page uh, warrant uh, so that they could surveil him through the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. Uh, and there also are indications that Bruce Orr, who was an assistant attorney general, his wife worked for Fusion GPS, the company that had gotten money from the Clinton campaign and the DNC to handle the warrant, that they were, uh, he was passing that information on. And a lot of this, the fact that uh, the, the Democrats were behind the dossier, a lot of that wasn't shared with the, with the court. That is very troubling. Uh, on the other hand, there are some things that are missing in here that, that just make you question whether we're getting the full story. For instance, uh, as you pointed out just before you went to commercial, Carter Page, it's not like this is some blank slate and suddenly the FBI decided to come down on him. Uh, Carter Page had been involved with the Russians back in the 2000s. In 2013, he was allegedly recruited by a Russian spy in the United States to be a Russian agent and according to newspaper reports, was the target of a FISA warrant in 2014. This is two years before any of this happened. The other thing that's very interesting in the memo is the memo doesn't say that Carter Page was the focus in the beginning, the genesis of the Trump investigation. In fact, at the end it says, it says that the Papadopoulos information, that George Papadopoulos got information uh, from the Russians, uh, the Papadopoulos information triggered the opening of an FBI counterintelligence investigation in late July 2016 by Peter Strzok, the very controversial FBI agent. The FISA warrant on uh, Carter Page wasn't obtained until October of 2016. There's one other thing that's very interesting, either very damaging or very misleading. There is one statement here. Deputy Director McCabe, this is Andrew McCabe, who's now been removed from his position as the number two FBI agent, Deputy Director McCabe testified before the committee, the Intelligence Committee, in December 20, 2017 that no surveillance warrant would have been sought from the court without the Steele dossier information. That would seem to indicate that without the dossier, you don't get the warrant, and the dossier uh, is, is questionable because of the fact that it was oppo research from the Democrats. It's not a quote. It's a summary. No, it's not. It's a paraphrase. And that raises the question, is that what McCabe said or is that what Republicans on the committee say McCabe said? I'd be very interested to see that testimony. I'd be interested to see the FISA judge, uh, a court which reaches levels of importance in, in these United States, I mean, almost with a Supreme Court. I haven't heard you say it earlier, that a FISA judge would allow such a thing based on an, an unverified dossier just it sounds very newness. <laughs> That's now an adjective. There's a history, Chris. I mean, you can't ignore history when, when talking about the president. You just can't. Well, I will say this. And, and if they were if they presented the dossier, this is why I think you, ha you have to be somewhere in the middle. You can't come down and say, right. man, the Republicans are right or man, the Democrats are right. Let's just wait and see. Uh, clearly, if they were presented the dossier without telling the judge that this was the fruit of Democratic oppo research, that's very troubling. On the other hand, as you and I both know, a FISA application by the FBI to get a, a wiretap is dozens of pages long. It's sometimes a, a thick stack. So the idea that this dossier, which barely mentions Carter Page, is just a small fraction of the dossier, that that was the sole basis or even the primary basis uh, for, for getting this warrant, again, maybe, maybe true, mm. but I have questions. Four separate FISA judges signed off on it. Every six months, you've got to sign on it. Because what's happened is they've, they've seen something. It's not like they're acting in a, in a vacuum. It began with agents seeing connections with Russians. And then every six months, to get to surveil him again, another judge signed off on it. It was four separate judges. Well, and to add to that, you can't just 
take the old FISA application and say, stuff. well, it was good enough before. You've it, supposedly in the past 90 days, you've done some surveillance. You have to show some fruits from that to be able to get it. There has to be new information. You can't simply say, well, we proved this last time. So here you prove it again. It's a bombshell. It's a smoking gun. Look at it. It's a disgrace what's happening in this country. If you look at it and you see it, it's a disgrace. I've looked at it. I've seen it. I, I don't. I don't see it. Do you see it? I don't know. I, will. I, I mean, we'll, I wouldn't we'll go. More I wouldn't soon. go. I wouldn't say it's worse than Watergate, as some people have said, and I wouldn't <laughs> say it's nothing, as some people have said. It's interesting. There's some troubling information in it. Let's get the rest of the yeah, story. We're going to know more, and that'll be helpful, whatever that is. Chris, it's great to see you. I'm excited to be for the program you. this Sunday. Uh, we have a great show. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be talking to that gentleman, Eric Swalwell and Chris Stewart, who are both members of the House Intelligence Committee. And a lot of the very good questions you asked me, I'm going to ask them. And I don't even know that we've made a graphic up. Oh, we have. Oh, we got Leon you. Panetta, yeah. the former CIA director, former Secretary of Defense. That'll be a good one. We, we thought, let's just get a wise hand, somebody yep. who's known his way around Washington, and ask him, is there any there there? What, what's conceivably important here? What are the questions he still has? I love that.